Hello everyone and welcome back to our little tarot space. Allie from Toe Tarot here. I am back this week with another week ahead reading. A little bit of fun divination again. I was all sick last weekend so my uh, solid video week is off to a great start but that's fine. That's fine. We're here now, right? Anyway, so I thought we would just dive in today to a couple of the decks that I'm working with for the month of February. The tarot deck we'll be working with today is the Moon Baby Tarot by Brent Palazzo. And the Oracle deck that I've chosen to use today is the Reclaim Oracle. And that is by Marion, uh, Marion Constantine at Little Darkness. And then, of course, we're going to have our Pocket of Peers tiles and Sawyer's Lenormand and Points to Ponder Dice. So let's get started. So just like last week, I have already shuffled the decks. So here's the Moon Baby Tarot. For those of you who haven't seen this deck before, it is a reworking of the Hoi Polloi Tarot by Brent Palazzo. And it was a Kickstarter. Um, I got mine off of Etsy, but it was originally a Kickstarter. So it is just beautiful. It's got these lovely pastel soft pink edges, and it's just everything. The cardstock is butter. It's phenomenal. So, okay, anyway. So our first card here is going to be what we've been dealing with for, you know, in the in the recent past. And we have the Empress here. And for our next card, this will be where we're kind of at right now, which is the Eight of Swords. And finally, our third card here will be kind of what we have to look forward to this week ahead. The Devil. Okay, so... Right away, it looks like we were in kind of a period of self-care, of new beginnings, of something coming into our lives or something changing or happening that signifies a new beginning or abundance, personal growth, um, personal work, self-care, all those types of things, right? That's what we had been focusing on. But now we're, we seem to be in a space with the Eight of Swords of being victims to our own mental booby traps of maybe doubting ourselves, doubting, doubting the fruition ability of what we've been working on to come to pass. And the devil seems to be coming ahead. It feels to me like more of a warning for this week ahead. Like, do not give in to the panic that you are feeling right now about this project or whatever it may be, your, you know, self-care or whatever, whatever it may be. Um, don't fall prey to these negative thoughts surrounding that. The devil is all about taking the easy way out of, of what feels good, of what feels easy, um, what is familiar, kind of destructive patterns, what we are chained to, what we are tying ourselves to. And so I, I kind of see here that whatever good we have had going on, we're kind of in a doubtful space right now. And we need to be careful that we don't commit to that mindset, that we don't fall prey to that kind of thinking, because it's simply not true. There's so much abundance and good things here that we we need to quit kind of self-sabotaging. So let's see what the Reclaim has in store for us. Again, I've shuffled this deck already. Oh, I love this deck. It's it's edged in black. It's a chunky little guy, but I've never had such an emotionally dense deck. It it conveys so much and is so great. I could go on and on about hours. On and on for hours about it. Words, Allie. Okay, so our card is limitation. So again, let me set this down. What kind of limits are we imposing on ourselves? Right? Like why why are we trying to kind of cut off the things that we've been doing why are we trying to limit our potential just because of our anxieties or worries things that are new are always scary they're always how is this going to pan out right like it's it's not always for certain but the beautiful thing is that it isn't certain right it can go it can go anyway you, you've got to have a little bit of a sense of faith going forward that the things that you've been working on, the things that you have been bringing to life, the, the, the care that you've put into whatever it is, is going to work. If you get into a negative mindset, then you are going to stay in that mindset as long as you let yourself, right? 
So limitation is like our warning word again for the week. So now on the sides here, we're going to see what the peers have to say to the left and to the right. And again, I don't think I did this specifically last week, but I have in previous videos. Shout out to Miss Jenna at Moonlit Fay, who has made <laughs> a majority of the bags that I keep my tarot things and oracle things in. She is phenomenal, one of my favorite people, along with Miss Janie, who's made so many fun divination things like these tarot tiles. Um, I, I really, I use their products so much. So every week you'll probably see at least one of their pieces. And that is why. I just love them. Alright, so first we have Ten of Cups. Next we have Teacher. And the Sun. <laughs> yeah, so... These are all positive things, all great things that we have been bringing about. You've, you've been learning the lessons. You have been emotionally abundantly blessed and you've received signs from the universe saying, go for it, right? But now you're being stuck. So let's see, let's see how to handle this devil going forward here into this week. Okay, so we have the Two of Swords. <laughs> Please enjoy this with me. The Empress. Of course we get the Empress. <clears throat> Goodness, excuse me. And finally, we have the Four of Pentacles. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, this reading is certainly not messing around. So, again, we have all of these good things that we've worked for, right? But now we're limiting ourselves in our mindset. We are completely becoming victim to our ideas of failure, even though everything points to success for us. So, going forward, we need to put some effort into our decision making. That Two of Swords is kind of the... Uh, which way do I go kind of card um, when I when I read that's kind of how I work with it and again we have the empress so bring it back bring her back into your focus bring that idea of prosperity and abundance back into your decision making because that's that's what you're here to fight for um, and then we have the four of pentacles protection uh, is the word that's coming to my mind right now it's it's usually, it can either go one of two ways. It can either be, what are you protecting? What are you keeping safe? Or it can also be, how are you kind of being a little bit miserly? Um, it, it also is protective of your time, energy, and resources. And so it's not always miserly. It is a good thing, right? We, we have to have boundaries because we are humans and we can only hold so much. And so boundaries and, and protecting yourself are very important. So Make decisions with the abundance in mind and protect that vision. Protect that vision. Be careful who you allow around you. If you are surrounding yourself with people who maybe aren't um, aligned with your vision or aren't supportive of you or of, of your project, of your new job, of your new house, of your car purchase, of whatever it is, be mindful of that and... Yes, there is such a thing as taking people's advice to heart and, and listening and having counsel in your life, and that can be a good thing, but naysayers don't always necessarily have a place in your life or in your immediate circle, right? So boundaries are going to be very important, and it's going to be your job this week to kind of, again, make decisions with this abundance in mind. Remember what you started and why for the abundance, because you've learned your lessons and you're ready to go forward with it. And because everything is pointing to a yes. So stop trapping yourself in your mind with no and protect, protect the yes. That's basically today's quote, I think, is protect your yes. So now let's get some Lenormand down here below and let's see what we've got going on down there. Okay, 
Okay, so we have bouquet. Where am I going? <laughs> we have sun. Guys. <laughs> and stars. I do not know that this board could be any more clear. Bouquet. When you think about bouquets, right? You think about romance, about love, about passion, about good things. And when I read with bouquet, I take it as good things, the beauty, the pleasure, um, love, just good, good things, right? Good, pleasant things. Same thing with the sun. The sun is certainly always a sign of warmth success big big things coming to pass big happy things it's it's just like the sun and tarot it's a giant yes and the stars is also another sign to be hopeful it is a sign of direction and of guidance and so you already have your direction and you're getting you're getting yes go forward so i i can talk in circles all day but Come on. <laughs> so now in these little four corners, just like last week, let's get to some points to ponder dice. See what they have to say. I really like this reading for us this week, guys. It is very, very positive. I'm all about it. Okay. See, so we have fear, heal, burn, and how. So, this fear that we are experiencing, this eight of swords, this trapping yourself in your own thoughts, which if you'll notice... She's not really trapped. She's free to walk out. She is free to shake out of those ropes, remove her blindfold, and see the good and figure out her problem. So take this fear that you're feeling and burn it. Burn it. If you are a more physical, practicing type of person, take a piece of paper and write the specific fears that you have regarding Whatever this is in your life, this big positive change, big positive thing, write all your fears about it on a piece of paper and then in a safe place, <laughs> a bowl or a fireplace or somewhere safe, burn it. Burn that piece of paper and visualize all of those fears being burnt away from it, being, being completely just obliterated. Get rid of those fears and feel yourself accepting the good again. Shake off this devil and walk away from those Eight of Swords. How do we do that? Well, by making the decisions that are focusing on these good, abundant things and healing. Burning and healing is going to be very important this week. So I think today's message that you want to walk away with is you can't let... Oh my goodness, this silly sports analogy just came to mind. Uh... Never let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game, right? So heal. Accept the abundance again because it is there and protect that abundance. Protect your positivity with everything that you have because at the end of the day, that is why you're doing what you're doing. I really, really love this message for us and I think it is a great message for the week. I think we can all... Also in, in areas of love, if, if, you are, if you are in some sort of traumatic relationship or you've had traumatic relationships in the past, this week, love yourself. You know, this, this holiday coming up tomorrow, some people hate it, some people love it. Um, make it about you, you know? Um, yeah. I just, I'm kind of <laughs> mystified. This was such a clear and concise message and I really hope that you guys have enjoyed 
this message with me. I hope you uh, enjoy my little ramblings, and I hope that this has given you something positive to think about as we enter into this week. If you would like, please feel free to leave me comments or to like this video, to share it and post it wherever you want. I love making new friends and I would love to be able to reach people and maybe give them something that they need to hear. So thank you again for being here and I will see you guys next time. Bye.